Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Before this video starts, I just want to apologize for the way I look and the way I sound. I'm very sick right now, so I'm not in the best shape to film myself, if that makes sense. I just threw in this like really cozy sweater that Sam got me, and my hair is crazy, and I just feel poopy, <laughs> to say the least. I wasn't sure if I was going to make this kind of video, but I feel like it's important, and especially with everything going on with mental health-wise with people, I think this is something that can really help, because if you're in a long-distance relationship, you know that it definitely takes a toll on your mental health. You can get very sad being away from home, you can get very sad being away from your partner. And I've never seen anyone really talking about this, so I thought I could be that person. You guys know I love to do advice videos, and especially when it comes to long distance relationships, so that is exactly what this video is going to be today. This video is all about how I get over being homesick, because right now I'm very homesick. I've been gone for over a month. I miss my family, I miss my dogs and my cat. Literally just like thinking about my family right now makes me want to cry, and I don't want to cry in this video, because that is not the point of this video. This video is supposed to bring happy thoughts. I'm going to try my best not to cry, but I really, really, really do miss my family and my pets and all that. I'm a very family-oriented person, a very animal-oriented person, if that's a thing. I am so attached to my family and so attached to my animals that when I'm apart from them, I feel really sad. I don't show that a lot on YouTube because I don't really like to be super negative on here, so if this video is a little bit sad, then I apologize. But I thought I would tell you guys how I get over being homesick and how to feel better when you're away from home if you're in a long-distance relationship or regardless of where you are. So I wrote down some tips and I'm going to read them out to you guys and... We'll do it that way. <laughs> One way to feel not as homesick is to call home. I know that speaks for itself, but call home. Call your family, call your friends, keep up with what they're doing. And this goes vice versa when you're away from your partner as well. Like call your partner all the time, like see what's going on, keep each other updated with each other's lives. But this is gonna be like more of the family side, so. When you're away, um, one way to feel better is to call your family and FaceTime your family. I FaceTime at least one person in my family a day when I'm away. If that's my sister Liz, my sister Jacqueline, my brother Robert, or my parents, they all know how to work FaceTime, thankfully. <laughs> so that is something I do all the time is I call someone like once a day. I say like, hey, how's Melly and Bentley doing? Can I see Bella? And they show me my animals and just feel more at home when you call them. Another person you could call is your friends because obviously we all love our friends. So I sometimes FaceTime a few of my closest friends and I just ask them what they're up to any new gossip they could tell me like whatever comes to mind I ask them and I just feel more at home and it makes me feel a lot better because I feel like connected with them another piece of advice is when you're traveling to wherever you're going bring stuff from home what I do and I know this is gonna sound crazy I st <laughs> I stuff my suitcase with food <laughs> yes that is as weird as it sounds. When I'm going to England, I know the snacks that they have and don't have that I love. For example, yo girl loves Doritos, nacho cheese Doritos. This trip, when I came to the UK, I brought a bag of Doritos because I can't get that kind here. I brought like six boxes of mac and cheese because I'm obsessed. And they don't have Kraft or Velveeta mac and cheese here. And I kind of need that to survive. So that's another thing I do right now, like literally right over there, I have flavor blasted goldfish. I bring a few of my favorite snacks, so I feel more at home and it just reminds me of home and I feel a lot better because who doesn't love eating? So that is something I do and I do it every time. I always bring at least mac and cheese. Like I don't really bring like chips and stuff as much, but mac and cheese every time I bring because I can't live without it. <laughs> Number three is don't overstay slash know your boundaries. I personally come to England usually for like two months at a time and I'm okay with that. I don't think I'd be able to do that for like five months at a time because I just love being home and I'd feel really really homesick if I didn't. As you're starting to be in a long distance relationship, try out different lengths of time that you go to see your partner. So if you go for two months like I do and you're really really struggling, you're really missing your family and you're really upset, then don't stay for two months. Next time go for a month, next time go for three weeks, whatever you're most comfortable with. I think you have to kind of find that sweet spot that you're most comfortable with and where you feel okay and it's kind of balancing out. So definitely find out what length of time makes you feel the best. Another thing is wherever you're staying kind of make it feel like home. Bring like your favorite pillow with you when you travel bring like your favorite blanket or whatever you want to bring just bring something from home that you can decorate your surroundings to feel like home i know it sounds really silly it's definitely helped me i have this huge i literally can't even get it off the thing this huge like hoodie sofa 
thingy majiggy and I wear it every day at home like I sleep in that so when I br when I come here I brought that here with me and I sleep in it and I feel like I'm kind of home but not really home if I feel like a lot of the stuff I'm saying is like all over the place but I, I think you get the gist of it number five and this is the most important one be positive I always always stress this positive thoughts bring positive vibes if that makes sense I do really really believe that if you think positively then positive things will happen in your life and if you're always negative you're always going to feel negative and things around you are always going to be negative so just be positive because that is super important so if you think happy thoughts then you'll be happy and before you know it you'll be back home my last little tip is to make new friends okay this is a lot easier said than done i've actually used apps before where like people go to find friends i know it sounds like really silly <laughs> and really embarrassing but it's actually worked I've actually made a few friends and one of my closest friends in New York I actually met her on an app where you can make friends it sounds so it's basically like tinder but without the dating it's literally BFFs so <laughs> that is something that I would highly suggest is try and make new friends whether it be from an app or whether it be from you going somewhere take a yoga class somewhere and you can meet people there and become friends with people there or no matter what you do, there's so many different things you can do to make friends. Even like one of my friends that I made here, me and Sam went to a club once and she was like our hostess. And she is one of my close friends here now because I just started talking to her. I got to know her. She seemed really cool. We exchanged Instagrams and then now we're friends. It's a little bit scary because I don't really like going out of my way to be like, hey, you're really cool and you're really pretty and you seem really nice. Do you want to be friends? Like, I feel like they might think it's a little bit weird, but at the same time, if someone did that to me, if someone came up to me and was like, hey, I would love to be your friend, I'd be like, that is the nicest thing I've ever heard. Thank you. Let's be friends. I also just don't know what's going on here. No, this video is probably really short, but I have not been feeling like myself lately because I just really do miss home. And the thing I miss most about being home is my doggies and my kitty cat because they're my like absolute everything and it's like weird things I miss like I miss going to the dog park with my dog and just seeing all everybody else's dogs I know I'm a huge dog person <laughs> so that is that I hope these tips can help you I will not be in the UK much longer this trip which is a little bit sad and then when I go there I'm gonna feel England sick so that's a whole nother story but hope these tips can help you and I will see you in next week's video make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Monica Gartner and I'll see you then also, if anyone from my family or my friends from back home are watching, I miss you. <laughs> Bye.